What's up creatives? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my photos with Lightroom. So first of all, I want to open up Adobe Lightroom Pro. And while that's opening up, I want to let you guys know, I take all my photos on a Canon 6D Mark II and you can take them on any camera that you want to. What you need to make sure that you do if you want to edit your photos like me is you must take them raw. You can take a JPEG and a raw together, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have a raw of the pictures because when I edit my photos, I take them raw so I can manipulate the exposure and the color. I went out and took three pictures today. Real quick, I went and had lunch and I took a picture here of an acai bowl. Yeah, I took a picture here of my Pumas and another picture here of my Pumas. Now, as you can see, I was looking at the JPEGs. I take a small JPEG as well so I can view them faster because when you try to view these, they take a long time. You get that wheel and it has to load. So I keep those JPEGs just so I can browse through them and see which picture I really like. So cool. I like all three of them. So what I'm going to do here, I come here, I go to my card, I grab the RAWs that I'll all the raws and I just drag them over top of Lightroom app and boom it opens up now let's let it open up I've already imported them yeah, apparently yeah here they are so boom after they're imported you come up here to the top right go to develop now if you use Lightroom you're probably familiar with all this stuff already but if you don't use Lightroom and you're trying to figure out how to do my photos then this is how I do it now sometimes I'll come in and I'll Look at my presets that I have, Creative Run, and I'll see if I want to use a preset. Boom, that's a pretty good actual color. I love that, actually. Well, they're only 15 bucks. I have two packs. They're pretty dope. Preset right here actually looks pretty good on it. Let's see how the other ones look. Fade to black. Black and white one, that's pretty dope. Boom, humpback. Oh, man, I love humpback. And then you can see it on and off right there. Man, that looks really good. <laughs> so typically, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back. Typically, I like to do a low saturation low saturated sharp uh, photos that's how I like to do mine so I'm gonna go ahead and color from scratch so starting with this photo I love grays and neutrals and stuff and I like my blues to be real low so I'm gonna go as soon as I open up a picture I look at what needs to be fixed first now see here I can see the highlights are kind of blown a little bit so I'm gonna drop the highlights down here say about right there um, I love my clarity I go to my clarity and see how sharp I can get it I like it all the way boosted, honestly, but I'm not gonna do it that much. I typically go in between 50, a little lower, something like that, about right there. Boom, I love that, it's really sharp, so you can cut it on and off, see how it looks so far. So I'll fix my highlights a little bit, boom. Uh, I'll drop, I'll bring the contrast up, make it contrasty, make it pop, make a little bit more. Then I'll drop my blacks down, I want my blacks to be down. Then I'll drop the, sh bring the shadows up, actually. So anything that's too dark will be brightened up. So as you can see, there's already a cool difference going on here. And uh, let's see, let's see the whites. I like to boost my whites a little bit just to make it pop. Now I take my saturation down always. Let's see, I love the way it looks so far. See, I could post it just like this and be satisfied. Um, I'm bringing the vibrance up a little bit. I usually bring my vibrance up and drop my satch. Um, then I go to the temperature, mess with it. It's a little on the blue side right now, so let's see how it looks warmer. Nah, I like the blue. I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drag it towards the blue, and then I'm gonna take out some blues. Um, I think it looks good so far as far as the exposure and the temperature and everything. I like the way it looks. Now I'm gonna go mess with some colors. So what I do is, let's see. Boom. So I'll go to my saturation. I'll take some. We'll see how it looks without the blue. Oh, I like that a lot. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And the aquas aren't really nothing. The greens, you can't really see any greens. I'm going to go ahead and boost the yellows just because of the bananas and the granola in this photo, particularly. So I'm going to bring the oranges up a little bit for my skin tone, the reds a little bit for my skin tone. Let's see how it looks from there. I'm loving the way this looks already. So I'm going to boost the purples a little bit for those berries and the magenta, I'm going to boost the magenta a little bit for the berries too, red a little bit more for those other berries in there, right there. Actually, let me see what the greens do. I'm going to boost those greens all the way up just because of these little seeds right here. Okay, so now the hue, now this is where you can really like manipulate your colors. As you can see, you got like a turquoise here and a purple here, like on the blue and you can like see what I mean. You can change those colors different so if you got like reds you go to the reds and you can make it more orange or you can make it more red pinkish so that's pretty cool typically i like to bring my blues down a little bit towards the aqua side now i take the aqua and i boost it all the way up 
I don't know, for some reason, I just do that. I like the way that looks, I don't know. I love to make my greens and my yellows like on the orangish and the yellow side, typically, but this uh, actual photo doesn't really call for that. Um, actually, on the green, I'm gonna take it to the uh, yellow side just for these uh, seeds, I like the way that looks. And then, let's see, maybe I'll bring it over there on the yellows a little bit right there, I like that. Let me go back up here to the exposure and drop these highlights down a little bit more. And I'm gonna boost the whites, boost the clarity a little bit. See, I always come back and play with it a little bit. I think I love it right now as it is. So that's, and then here the luminance, the luminance, I think that's how you say it. You can like dial in on a color and make it darker or brighten it, blow it out. So as you can see, that's on my hand, the reds in my hand, I can make them darker, or I can blow them out. So sometimes I mess with these, the yellows, I'm gonna make darker a little bit like that. See, it rung the highlight, the highlighted parts of the yellows down. Same with the greens on there. I'm gonna boost those purples up a little bit. I don't know, I'm just messing with everything, kind of trying to show y'all everything I mess with when I edit photos. So I actually love the way this looks. And then sometimes I'll come to the curve and I'll drop down right here on this peak and I'll make it darker and then I'll boost the blacks to give it a faded look. As you can see, if you go all the way up, it gives you like that faded vintage look. But sometimes I'll just, I'll keep it regular contrasted or sometimes I'll boost it up a little bit and make it a little uh, flat. For this one, I think I like it just like that. Maybe one little notch up. Now from, you know, raw to color graded. As you can see, I didn't do much, I don't like to do too much. I like to manipulate the color a little bit and fix the exposure and get that clarity really make the photo pop. That's really all I do when I edit my photos. And so many people say they love my photography and stuff. And I truly appreciate that. And I hope that this is actually helping you right now. So when I typically take photos, like these photos all look kind of similar. They all have that same gray day, rainy day uh, vibe. They're gray neutral looking and stuff. So if it's the same photo in the same setting, I'll just come right down here to your, on your bottom left and hit copy. Make sure everything is clicked. Actually, I'm gonna take out the crop just because if I crop a photo uh, on here, then that'll do it on the next photo and I don't wanna have the crop because not all the photos are gonna be the same. So then I make sure everything's checked except for the crop and I hit copy. Now I copied everything that I did to this photo. Now we can go to the next one and drop it on here by hitting paste right here. And boom, now that same color is on this photo. I, as you can see, there's a little difference here. There's the dark um, background right here. And then on this photo, there's a light background. So there's a little difference. I would personally change it to make it match my other one because I'll use these for my actual Instagram story. This is what I do when I do my Instagram stories during my day. If I'm doing something cool or want to show something on my Instagram, I'll take it with my actual camera. I'll come home and I'll edit up the photos and I'll take them long ways. Make sure you take them long ways if you're trying to take these photos for your Instagram stories. I'll take them long ways. I'll edit up a few and kind of like make a little story with them. And that's how I promote on my IG story. Photo, rotate left, rotate left. Okay, cool. So now I'm looking straight down, just like this one, looking straight down. I actually want to crop this one a little bit. So I would go to tools, crop, and I'll bring this over a little bit like that, just so my feet are directly in the middle. I love everything to be like spot on with perspectives. Perspectives are very important. So I feel like the highlights are a little dark here. So boom, oh yeah, that's better. So if you wanna, I had the highlights down, so if you wanna um, make them go back to the regular in the middle, um, you just click on the meter or on the word, you just double tap on it and it'll take it back to the center, the default setting. So boom, I like that. I think it's good, it's not too blown. So I'm gonna actually drop the hollies down a teeny bit. Maybe bring the shadows up a little bit. And I think that's good. Let's look at it. Raw color grade. Cool. Now let's go back to the first picture, see how they match. I think this matches. Boom, boom, and then boom. So what I'm gonna do is copy the settings here because these two photos were taken in the same spot. This one was actually taken somewhere else, but it still has kind of similar vibe. But I'm gonna take the settings from this one because I had to make a few changes. Copy, copy, and I'm gonna drop it on this one because it's the same spot, and boom. Oh man, it looks good. I love the way it looks. Oh, it's so perfect. Look how perfect it is. So that is kinda how I color my photos on uh, Lightroom and stuff like that. And right here, actually, I'm gonna make a crop right here. I think I'm gonna turn this and make it perfectly even. Yeah, boom, all right, I think that's perfect. I'm being super like, 
tedious, but yeah, I think it's perfect now. So that's, yeah, that's how I grade my photos um, and I crop them and make them, you know, for Instagram stories or IG or, you know, Twitter, whatever the case may be. This is how I do it. I like, like I said, I like a low saturation type of vibe. I like to take out my colors, pop in colors, take out colors. See the yellow there, I'll take out the yellow. I keep the orange and the red for my skin tones and I like to, see a lot of people put push blues too hard and I hate that. Like I like to take my blues super low. So this would be regular. Uh, this was regular when I took it. There's kind of some blue tint in there, you see it. See, I would want to take it out and make that gray pop super gray, just like that. So actually, I like that better. So I'm going to copy this and go back to the other one. And post it on, paste it on here. So boom. So then basically what I do is I'll highlight all these down here in the left corner or how many ever photos you have. You go file, export. Um, I usually do mine to the desktop. If you want to make a, a, a folder specifically for these photos on your desktop, push put in subfolder and title it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna title this tutorial and you go down make sure JPEG make sure your quality is all the way at 100 so your image quality is the best it can be you could also resize them here if you want if you want to make them small or whatever but me personally I don't make them smaller at all I keep them huge and it's just so we get the best quality out of them and then you just click export up here in your top left corner it says export three files that means it's exporting a little weight bar once that is done, I wait for that. Boom, boom, boom. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Once this is done, I just usually cut on my iPhone. Let's back out of here. I go to AirDrop and I cut on uh, AirDrop, uh, cut on the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth on my iPhone. As you can see, it just popped up. Here's the tutorial folder with the photos in it. I go here, I drop to my iPhone. Boom, and they're coming in right now. Now they're on my iPhone. Okay, now that they're on my iPhone, I actually come here and now you have one here, boom, two, three. Now what I would do if I wanna promote on like my Instagram or my IG story, I come to Instagram, um, I swipe over to my story, slide up, and let's see, boom, that picture looks dope. And then maybe I'll write a cool little something like, um, something motivating, you know, about my day. Um, about to run or you know whatever the case may be and I'll make it how I want and then maybe I'll come here and use a I make an arrow make it small and make an arrow like woo -woo, and then make an arrow like that or something like that cool like that but let me back out of here so slide up and then you have that one it's perfect uh, perfectly ready to be posted on there because I made it centered and then this one is per center, perfectly centered as well but say that they're not uh, perfectly centered I would come back to my actual photos and I would uh, say I wanted the, the actual shoe on the left side to be in the middle so I would double tap it so it makes it full screen get it to where I want it to be like that and then I'll screenshot it just like that and then I'll come back to Instagram slide to the left go up boom and there you have the screenshot where it's perfectly centered and you know you could say something motivational or something about your day, whatever you're going to do, you know, whatever the case may be. So that is how I edit my photos on Lightroom and that's how I usually post them on Instagram. And I hope this really helped you out. Like this, share this for other creators to see and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this.